the economy collapsed because of all those natural disasters. But a lot of the blame went to mutants, Homo superior. Some call them the next stage in human evolution. Others, a threat to our very existence. So now we've got these purifier cults springing up everywhere. They say they're humanity saviors. Well, someone's got to do it. We X-Men will work with local and national authorities to keep the peace and to deliver help where it's needed. And the Brotherhood of Mutants will protect its own. One man could have brought sense and sanity out of this chaos. But Charles Xavier is dead. Struck down when he and Magneto faced the menace called Bastion. The Professor's dream died on that day. Without him, the X-Men just fell apart. But Mr. Summers, what about the school? Right here, right now, the school is just a target, Pixie. We'll rebuild it somewhere else. The government's Mutant Response Division has deployed 10,000 troops in the Bay Area and moved its Telos Comm satellite into orbit above the city. Commander Reyes, do you think the MRD presence here will defuse the tension, restore some kind of normalcy to the city? That's our all. What about Magneto? Magneto has not been seen since the Bastion incident. Everyone lists Magneto among the missing, but he's still out there. He's just deciding on his next move. Between mutants and purifiers, San Francisco is a virtual powder keg. What will it take to bring calm? Who will be the voice of reason? Today is about the future. A future we have chosen to face together. Human and mutant alike. San Francisco has opened its arms to show the world that peace can be achieved. Today, the future begins with a gesture of trust on both sides. I am proud to stand alongside the X-Men's leader, Cyclops, and the mayor of San Francisco as we move the city toward integration of our mutant and human communities. The group that I represent, the Mutant Response Division, we are not warriors, we are peace keepers. The peace we build here is precious and must be protected. I would like to call upon Cyclops, formerly of the Xavier Academy for Gifted Youngsters. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. I'll speak plainly, and I'll keep it short. The choice we all face is between peaceful coexistence and blind hatred. Charles Xavier died for this dream. We have to live with it. We have to choose a side, make a stand. The apathy of the men is as destructive as the malice of the few. It's time we remember that we're one people, united by our shared humanity. Your genes don't decide your destiny. You do. We all do. What's up guys? My name's Captain Dave and welcome back to X-Men Destiny. And I say welcome back because I've actually done a playthrough of this before. Last time I did it with Adrian and the Shadow Matter. This time I'm going to do it with Grant Density control in the conservatory. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. I had to say it. And also, I realised how dirty it sounded when I said I'm going to do it with Grant. My bad. But anyway, let's get this new game under uh, underway once this loading screen's finished. New game. <laughs> Sorry, I was listening to that man in the background. I'm going to do it on X Men difficulty to keep it plain and simple. Adrian Luca, Grant Alexander, and I don't know if you say that, is it Amy or AI me or something? I'm sure I'm going to get corrected. But anyway, Grant Alexander. I'm not going to bother reading any of that. If you want to know what it says, you can pause the video. Let's do this. Do you even know what the dude looks like? Foreign. He's got a weird accent. Everyone says he's the guy you go to for this. We're looking for a guy with an accent. Oh, that's great. You guys are idiots. 
This isn't the stuff you get at the gym, Grant. It's mutant growth hormone. You won't be the only rookie starting this year. Mutant growth hormone? You're getting taken for a ride, dude. Come find me if you want to scope out the crowd for talent. It's a mutant rally, dude. Then I'll pick out some girls for you freaks. Find me a chick with super flexibility. <laughs> hey, he took our ball. Mayor Sinclair, citizens of San Francisco, who have seen your city retreat to two separate enclaves. Professor Xavier stood for integration and unity. Today, we honor his memory and his ideas. Magneto just gave us a vote of no confidence. the strangest sense of deja vu there. Anywho, I'm not going to go through and read all these, but if you're curious and you want to give them a quick read, see what they mean, you can pause the video and you can give them a quick read. But I'm not going to read them out. I know firsthand that that takes forever. But anyway, dance to decontrol, let's go. Do right. Let's get back into the swing of this. Let's try and remember the controls. What are we doing? Let's jump, punch, roll, duck. Yep, powers. Yep, block. Good. Right, we're ready. And I probably should have mentioned this right at the very, at the very start, but um, I'm probably going to be siding with the Brotherhood in this. I've heard a lot of people saying that not many people side with the Brotherhood, and last time I did myself go with the X Men. So, Brotherhood it is. Looks like we got ourselves a mutie. Take this freak out at the knees. You're all right. Take a deep breath. What? Who? Don't be scared. I'm Emma Frost, and we're talking mind to mind. I'll coach you through this. The important thing is to focus. Be a lot more helpful if she took out the dudes for us, but I'm sure I can do it myself. Boom! You've got it. Don't forget to breathe. Oh, I got it, alright. <laughs> Would have been a lot more helpful if she could have actually just stopped them for me, but... Okay, I'll take your advice. Oh, <laughs> hello purifier. Um, I'm going to try and get these propaganda posters 
I would say I'm not going to, but I really can't help myself. But I'm not going to go for like 100%. Try jumping. 100% trying to grab everything, because looking around can get really boring. Why are you standing still? So slow, pay attention! Follow Quicksilver. You're the boss. Yeah! See him? Where is he? Over there! If you have powers, you better learn to use them. This is an unforgiving arena. Anybody left? Oh, cheers, Quicksilver. I'll project a marker for you. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. Cheers, Quicksilver, doing my job for me. Iceman, hell yeah! One of my favourite X-Men. Totally underrated X-Men too, if I do say so myself. Also, you can lock on the characters. I think it's by holding R2, I believe it is. Oh, cheers Iceman for the assist. But honestly, when there's huge crowds of people, I find it just tends to... I don't know, slow me down. Oh no, whatever will I do? Punch and kicks for everyone! Except for... Calling, there's no kicks. Have to settle for punches, I'm afraid. Missed me. That's what I was looking for. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> Dude, ow! Oh god, I thought you put me in the ice then. I was thinking, as far as you're concerned, right now we're on the same side. That was a resilient one. And thanks for the backup. Boom. That was tense, but we held them off. How oh, you think? I have a feeling that was just a warm-up event. Those are some serious weapons the purifiers have. Yeah. More sophisticated than I've ever seen them use before. Wonder who their supplier is. I feel like we're fishing a barrel here. That's exactly how they want us. We have to keep moving. Make sure to check alleyways and rooftops for any mutants in trouble. That's a cool power you've got there. Ah, this whole thing's new to you. I could tell. You did good. I'm sorry it has to be under these circumstances, but we stick together, right? I'm just getting into my stride. So what happened to you guys? The X-Men, I mean. I thought you were East Coast. Well, we lost our base. And the man who brought us together in the first place. Charles Xavier. Yeah. Professor X. <sighs> Hard to believe he's gone. He set up the X-Men in the first place, didn't he? He was the most powerful telepath the world had ever seen. He found us, and he brought us together. How did he die? The same way he lived. Fighting for peace. Bastion struck him down. Who's Bastion? A robot. Kind of. Most of him, anyway. He came from the future on a mission to wipe out mutants. Where is he now? <laughs> he scattered debris. He lost that fight. Okay. Better keep going. Fight the good fight. I'll see you around. Other mutants are trying to find a way out for us all. Hang in there. Oh well. And the cool thing about playing through this with different characters and I suppose different powers as well. The different powers keep the gameplay interesting, but playing with different characters keep the story interesting. So even though for the most part it's the same story, the dialogue tends to be just slightly different because of backstories and the way their attitude is and stuff like that.
Get to the bridge. Get everyone to the bridge. So many people are in a panic. The psychic noise is deafening. I need your help to search. Purifiers aren't the police, kid. Climb or clear out of my way. Hey! What? You want to stand around and talk now? These people, who are they? You never heard of the purifiers? Stick around, kid. You'll soon learn enough. But we should fight them. The two of us together could pound these guys into the floor. The purifiers like roasting mutants for fun. And there's an army of them heading this way. You wanna take them on? Be my guest. Okay, I get it. You just like to talk big. But when the fighting starts, you turn tail and run. No, I, I mostly jump. I repeat. We're outgunned here. Maybe you didn't learn to count yet. So are you heading anywhere in particular? Ha! <laughs> Lost, are ya? Yeah, you look it. I'm not gonna slow down for you, kid. Keep up or fade out. I'll race you. Punk, kid. Follow Toad. Climb. You can do it. That I will, Emma. Thanks for the advice. <laughs> Boom! Whoa, nearly missed my mark. Yeah! Don't let any mutant through! I figured I'd play through this one again, not only because I have had so many requests from people asking me to, which it's not, well, I'm not gonna lie, it was a huge, it was quite a big factor as to why I decided to play again, but it weren't the only reason. But the other reason is. It's an easy smash through for you. The other reason is because the first time I played this, uh, when I did like my walkthrough before, was the very first time I played my game, and the only time I played the game. So I played through it again recently, just like off camera, and I, I found an entire. Oh, I've missed the hole! Found an entirely new love for the game, so I thought. It definitely deserved a new run through. Now I know what I'm doing. And for any user who have watched the one before, you may be wondering why I paused here. It's because finally, after like a year, I can now once again say, Falcon Punch! I need your help. I have a lot of scared mutants here. There's a whole community of mutants here. I never realized. Help them if you can. <laughs> oh, good lord, that felt so good to say that again. Alright, what X gene did we get here? How do I bring up my thing? X genes, there we go, it's starting to come back to me. Juggernaut, your enders will deal heavier damage and stun enemies. Ground pounds will stun and turn enemies to the floor. Good, good, that's exactly what I want. Let's fill this bad boy up too. Chucking! Good, that's what I wanted. Equip, which it already was anyway, and mutant powers. Let's see if I can bunch up some combos here. Don't have enough, don't have enough. Okay, fair enough. To attack the rally, you muties are gonna pay. Over here, dude. Okay. <laughs> Damn invisible walls. <laughs> Got my fist caught. Um, I do not want to go that way just yet because my rule normally is when there's a way to go, always go the opposite. Because then you find secret stuff like this. So you think you can take a X jeans all? ahoy. Thank you for the Juggernaut upgrade. But um, when it comes to like X genes and collectibles, I, people quite often say, "Where did you find this X gene? Where did you get that?" Um, my response to that is, I don't honestly know. I think according to who you choose, what power you choose, and what challenge arenas you do, where you get the different upgrades and stuff. Because as I say, I played through this game with Adrian and Shadow Matter, and then played through it with. Grant and Density Control, and I found different X genes at different levels in different places. So I think there's some. Wait! I think there's some element of randomness to it, and then there's. No team mascots tougher than you guys. I think there's some element of randomness to it, and there's also some element of just. It depends on who you choose. Like right now, I think that is just another Juggernaut one I've just unlocked. Yeah, Juggernaut Utility. So I think it depends quite often. I don't know if it's on your character or if it's the fact it's the Density Control. I'm a bit undecided. They're both quite big people. I mean, if I was to play this with Amy or Amy or however you call her, and use density control, I might not get Juggernaut. I might do. Who knows? To 
Ooh, speaking of people's body types. Hello, Emma. Purifiers. Hey, look, she's actually helping me with the fight this time. About time. Ouch. Okay, maybe I should start actually employing some of my blocks, because this is the start of the game, and I'm letting them hit me. Very sloppy, Dave. Very sloppy. Oh, I'm not listening to my advice. Nick Fury, he always said, Gunners, take them out first in the fight. That's exactly what I'm going to do. The man who ignores Nick Fury is a man who dies. Thank you for that. Those collectibles, all they are, by the way, if you're wondering what they unlock, they unlock sort of like information on characters and stuff like that. That's why I'm not too fussed about finding them. Propaganda posters, I might do just because, I don't know, I can't help myself. What is she doing? Is she playing Ring Around the Roses with them or something? You're made of diamonds, Emma. Hit them. <laughs> wow. You look bigger from up close. I mean, nice to meet you. Thanks for guiding me through all that. You're holding up pretty well. We shouldn't stay here too long. We have to clear a path out of here. Where are the police? And the MRD? They can't coordinate. Some sort of interference wave is affecting all electronics in the city. But the purifiers seem awfully prepared, don't you think? What are they anyway? They have better weapons than the police. Purifiers. They're all about eradicating mutants off the planet. Charming bunch. People are saying Magneto started this. Well, we can't rule him out. He thought the peace rally was just papering over the cracks of human mutant tension. If he did do this, he's made his point. It's too much. Too fast. I wish I could reassure you. What's happened to you marks a break with your life before. When you change, change in the very core of your being. Everything else changes around you. But all I wanted was to be a superstar. I mean, I've got the looks, right? Very impressive. By all means, try, Grant. What's the worst that can happen? Whatever happens, you aren't alone. We should keep moving. We'll have to slip past them unnoticed. We'll cover more ground if we split up. You go that way. Good luck. Oh, and thanks. <laughs>